A lot of energy this Saturday morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing really well. I, I realize that there's 160 odd videos on this YouTube channel and I've only got three garage sale videos. So we are due. We're gonna dive into the sales today. Fingers crossed wake you up early. Can do us some justice by finding some absolute bargains. I'm gonna show you everything that I buy today what it goes on to sell for on eBay, and a bit of an estimation on how much I think I can make just being out there for a couple of hours. So let's get into it. Come along for the ride. The first garage sale, it is coming up. Hello, mate. Hello, little one. How are you? What a cutie. He's cute, isn't he? What's her name? Roxy. Roxy. We had a Roxy. You did? Yeah. Yeah, I, I named like after him. my cattle dog, Roxy. I like killer. Oh, I think Roxy's a great dog name. Yeah. yeah. I like the name Roxy. Yeah. Oh, what a cutie. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hi there. There were a number of shoes here, guys. Um, I was just looking for the quality. Um, they were a little bit worn. The soles were peeling off on these Nike shoes that you're looking at here. Uh, there was a pair of Vans shoes right next to it as well. They were a little bit dirty, but I thought that I could have actually cleaned them up. It was actually the size that put me off. And then the last one were these uh, really kind of small-sized uh, Converse All-Stars as well. They are in pretty good condition. Would have cleaned up okay, but just too small of a size. Still pretty inexperienced when it comes to checking for the CDs. I don't really know what I'm looking for. If I was to sit there and do comps on every single one, that would probably be the only way I'd be able to find some value. There was one CD though, this one here, the Queen Greatest Hits. I've sold this one for about $15 in the past. So I picked that one up, but I had a bit of a continued look here and I really, like I said, I just didn't know what I was looking for. So in the end, I just grabbed that one CD. I did also find a second one, which was this Marley CD here. But um, I just put it back, didn't even bother doing comps. Something I'm very familiar with though are the hats. And I was absolutely blown away to see a Supreme hat hiding in this run of uh, hats and gloves and clothes and mats. There was a bit of a mixture down on the floor here. But this Supreme hat goes on to sell for some decent money on eBay. So I'm absolutely blown away by that. Uh, a few other hats as well. Um, this Yokohama hat really kind of cool look about it so i've gone ahead and grabbed that one as well and then there was this uh, yellow critical slide hat i'm always checking for the tags the tags are the most important thing uh, just to make sure that they are genuine um, this critical slide definitely a genuine hat as well so done pretty well there all right guys we've got a couple of things um i've got a few books how many four five six seven eight nine ten eleven there's 11 books, a CD, the shoes, and the three hats. Oh, oh that's okay. a bargain. <laughs> so three. Seven. Uh, so that'd be like 20, 23, 24, 25. Did you do 20? A lot? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Appreciate it. Do you want a bag? I would, yeah, if I can, that'd be great. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so the first garage sale of the day, it was a successful one. We've ended up getting eight items here. I'll kick things off with the hat. The hat is supreme. And as soon as you see this print, you can generally realize a few dollars will be made on eBay. I looked on the back uh, for the tag straight away to make sure it wasn't a cheap uh, barley knockoff. And that made in USA told me that this thing was genuine. I'm going with $79.95, and I'm happy to take an offer on that. So that was an awesome little pickup. Also found the Yokohama Trucker Hat. I'm going $35.95, I think, free postage, I believe, from memory. All of these are already listed up on my eBay store right now. Um, this one has already sold this morning. Only took an hour to sell. Queen sold for $13. I had it up for $14.50. Took a best offer at $13. So we're already starting to make some money. Um, and then the book bundles as well. I found the Harry Potters. The third book here, this one, wasn't in as great a condition. So I'm doing a bundle of $30. When I'm in the garage sales and I'm looking at books, I'm looking for book bundles. I don't want individual books, I just want sets. And if I'm not sets, half sets. So this one was another really good one, Lois Lowry. This was a complete set and plus a, a fourth book, I believe, as well, The Giver. Um, so I've got them $38.95 of a bulk sale price on eBay with those. And then I also found this one as well, uh, Holly Webb. I've actually passed on this in the thrift, even though it does have some really good uh, comps. So in the garage sale, I just thought, let's just go ahead with it. Um, I'm trying not to sell too many books at the moment. I'm kind of cutting that out of what I'm doing. But I just saw so many here and she was doing a fair price. So I had to go ahead and grab the books as well. So I think I went 30 bucks on eBay for those four books there. Um, that was everything. It was just the Birkenstocks actually, I should say. These Birkenstocks are a ripping pair of shoes, 60 to $70 in pre-owned condition, but it was just the uh, the wear. As you can see on the toe there, there was a little bit of damage, not a hell of a lot of wear on the sole, but I've gone with $40 on eBay for these. If they were in better condition, it would have been 60 or 70. So just dropping the price slightly, there are women's US seven, but Birkenstocks, if you can find these, they are worth so much money brand new. So we should go all right on eBay. So overall guys, the total resale value should be about $295 and I paid just 20 bucks. I was only in there for about 15 minutes. We've had a really, really good start to the day. Let's keep moving to the second garage sale and see what we can pick up there. The mines are, well, you're right, but I have a mines are genetic one. So the body's all going to It's got to be done and it's all going to get now guys, I'm quickly realizing that these DVDs is pretty much my only opportunity to find anything worthwhile, but luckily there are a heap of really good DVDs in this bunch. Now, there's a few things that I look for when I'm in the garage sale as opposed to a thrift store or Facebook marketplace. I just feel a bit time sensitive when I'm in there at the garage sale, so I'm not actually doing comps. What I'm looking for, and as you'll see here, I'm just going through each and every one. The first thing, and the reason why the Adams family is of interest out of those ones just there, is there are multiple discs within the case. So those had three discs, and therefore I know that the comps are gonna be worth a little bit more on eBay. The other one as well is I'm looking for anything that says special edition. If it says special edition, the chances are it could be worth a little bit more. You just never know. I'm always happy to grab that. And anything that, like this one there, the 007 that you're seeing there, that said ultimate edition. So I thought I'd grab that. The other one as well, like Frasier that you're seeing here, I've gone ahead and grabbed these because they're a TV show. So this is seasons one, two, three, and four. And that provides a really good opportunity to bundle up. And then the other one there as well with the Tom Hanks, that was just a unique DVD that I thought would go on to comp well. And sure enough, 15 bucks. I've got 33. 33? Yeah, would you take 15? Yeah, that's exactly what I'd take. There you go, sir. Perfect. Thank you very much. That's exactly. Yeah, that's Cheers, mate. Thank you. No worries. All the best. Yep. The numbers that I've got for you out of all these DVDs, not doing really any comps in the actual garage sale itself. There are 33 DVDs. There are 20 listings because I'm going to do a lot of bundles with the TV shows like Blacklist. That's five DVDs that I'm going to do a bundle for. Um, the Blacklist, as an example, should go on to sell for $60. Remember, I've picked every single one of these DVDs up for 48 cents on average. Um, a real winner out of the bunch. I've got every single episode, volumes one to three of The Adams Family. That should go on to sell for $50. 
Um, I found this cult as well, or sorry, cold chat. So uh, the Night Stalker, again, being a, a maybe a horror-based DVD. Haven't actually heard of this one, but it sells for $45 in pre-owned condition. So uh, again, I just went on a whim with this one. It just looked cool. It had multiple DVDs in it. It is an R4. It's not a dodgy Indonesian copy, this one. It's actually genuine. Um, had a look at the comps on eBay, and they do. that's kind of how it turns out, the thin little cases. Um, the other one as well is I've got Frasier, um, seasons one to four. Now, Frasier's an 11 season complete set, so I should be able to get about 40 bucks for that. Brand new condition, if you've got every episode of Frasier, $135. So there's some real uh, numbers there that we can consider for the multiples. And then there's a lot of individuals here as well that will go anywhere between sort of 10 to $15 each. So um, I've absolutely struck gold with these DVDs. Um, look, there was a $15 purchase, as you would have heard. The resale value collectively is $450. I've already listed them all up. It adds up to $450 bucks on eBay. Um, told you about the notable mention. So yeah, it, when, you're out in the, when you're out in the garage sales, the thrift, Facebook marketplace, at the end of the day, they do go on to sell on eBay. So garage number two was a huge success. Let's get on to garage sale number three. It doesn't do that either. It's supposed to be in the top position. Yeah. <laughs> it does go on this. So 50 cents is not better than the three. How are you? How's it been this morning, guys? That's good. These are really cool. Yes. Brand new There's though too. All seven of them. All seven? Yep. Wow. Why do you guys want to get rid of these? Because they're in, going to high school. She's in high school. She's there next year. I can't have it. Yeah, and I'm moving. <laughs> yeah, and I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they're awesome. You're getting too big for stuff like that. And I don't know how to pick them. I still have a massive bag in the hall. It does. These are big too, aren't they? Yeah. Big guys. How much for them? Um, Margaret, how much for the dwarfs? For the for seven dwarfs. dwarfs? $20. 20 for all seven? Yeah. Would you do 15 for all seven? I'll take them right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah? <laughs> you can, I'll throw in the box. <laughs> yeah, look, that, that, would be, uh, that would be handy. This, I'll, I'll, I'll keep having a look around. I more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not taking one. <laughs> no, no, you can't take them. Sorry. No, no, you're too big. Are they Disney? They're Disney branded. So. They're Disney brand, yeah. Yeah, they're really cool. And all seven of them too, hey? Oh, yeah. That's really awesome. Didn't they? There you go. There you go. Thank Give you that. No worries. Do you want something else for five dollars? Uh, let's see what we can do. We've got we've got a um a fight bear here. I might put this guy in the Pokemon one. Yep. I'll put him in there. Oh, I did see that, yeah. Oh, yeah, he is cute. Oh, I know. That's a good one. Yeah. No, you're not keeping one of these. These things you put your bottles in and they keep them cold. Oh, yeah. And what about the DVD players? Do they work? I'm assuming they do. Yeah. It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah. Um, they worked when I unplugged them. It's Blu-ray or just DVD? Just DVD, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Because like, who uses DVDs? Anyway? I know. DVDs. Actually, are... we have one DVD player left and it's in the car. In the car. So, <laughs> yep. it being used or no? Yeah, the girls use it. Oh, you use yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. People Sometimes do still watch go, the DVD. Can we watch this? And I'm like, sure. And they come out here and watch it in the car. <laughs> oh, that's but, yeah, awesome. Yeah, you've got Netflix in that now, haven't you? Yeah, everyone's using Netflix. I mean, the DVDs, they still don't watch though, I guess, every now and again. Yeah. So, have you got little ones that you want to send to bed? Yes, very true. Oh, some board games too. That's crafty stuff. Crafty. Have you got little ones? Yeah, just nieces and nephews. Nieces and nephews? Yeah. Got sleeping bags there. Sleeping bags, yeah. Little I think they're okay for the sleeping bags. Um, they're always good for sleepovers. Yeah. What else? My kids do not fit in the morning. Yeah. Um, 
Geez, guys, you're getting rid of all your, all your toys. <laughs> yeah. This isn't even like, this was only scratching the surface. Yeah. I wonder who spoils them. <laughs> 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 That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Nah, look, I'll tell you what, guys. Hold on to the 20. You sure? Yep. Thanks, mate. I'll, uh, I'll take my plush toys. $10 each now. Well done, girls. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Got a real problem with the plush toys, guys. He's looking at me like that because he knows that I shouldn't have bought him. I'm, I'm real, I can't help myself. I've got a problem with the plush. It was a ripping grab though. These guys are 65 centimeter big guys um, and it's a full set. And he's even, sorry mate, just can I? Um, yeah, he's got the brand new with tag. He's got the Disney tag on him as well. So um, look, I couldn't say no to this, especially with the price that she threw at me, 20 bucks. I was, I was happy to pay the 20 in the end when I said $15 and she said yes. I kind of felt bad because I thought 20 for this set of seven was just a really, really good price. Um, so in the end, I couldn't look around and find anything else as you would have seen. So I'm listing these up for $175 on eBay with free postage, understanding that posting something like this is going to cost quite a bit of money. So I'm, I'm catering, for, catering, I should say, for about $50 to $75 worth of postage costs wherever it ends up going. So if I can sell them for $100 and I'll bought them for $20, take fees, whatever the case may be, I'm trying to get between $80 to $100 in profit. They are a Facebook Marketplace item as well. So I'll put them up for $120 dollars on Facebook marketplace as well. So not too bad. I do love my plush. I reckon they're going to move pretty quickly. I thought that was a really cool grab. Let me know in the comments below, what is your best garage sale purchase over the last couple of weeks? Have you been able to get out garage sailing due to the coronavirus with all these lockdowns that are going on? I'd love to be able to hear what is going on in the world of garage sales with you and your area. Uh, do let me know in the comments below. Overall, guys, I've been able to get out to three garage sales. There was a fourth garage sale today that unfortunately it was an in and out type of a scenario. Just nothing in there that I could pick through. Didn't want to bother to put it into this video because there just really wasn't too much that I could capture. Um, overall, the three garage sales that we've been in, I paid $55 today. I believe the estimation of resale value, which is now sitting on my eBay store for every single one of these items, $940 today. Uh, the fees I'm estimating to be about 150 at 15%, the postage at $300, the cost of goods being the 55 bucks. I reckon we just made $435 today with the work that we put in. It's obviously got to go on to sell. There'll be some best offers in there that brings that price down a little bit. Let's just call ourselves at $400 profit. I'm pretty confident that we can do that. And I was only out there between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. today. So we're talking two hours worth of work. Granted, there was about four hours to list them up throughout the day today as well. So let's call it about six or seven hours worth of work to make that $400. The only extra work that we're going to need to do on top of that is to post the items out, which should shouldn't take too long to do. So you tell me on a Saturday morning for six hours, going out to your local garage sales, making yourself $400. It's, it's definitely worth it, I think. It's just the waking up in the morning, a nice and early factor that really, I don't know if it sits too well with me when I know that I can go out to the, uh, the thrift stores at any point in time and find some great items there too. But hopefully you've enjoyed it, guys. Like I said at the beginning, I've got a number of uh, garage sale videos, four videos now, in fact. I'm gonna put a video right here of another garage sale that I got out to a couple of months ago. If you're into the garage sales and if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, go and watch that video next. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you in the next one.